Hello, hello. Welcome back, my honey bunnies, my baby babies. I got some goodies for you from eBay. Now, eBay stuff, you can't really find it again because they're like one of a kind things, but I just want to show you what you can get. I'm really into silver pens, uh, especially Tiffany silver pens. So I bought the purse pen um, from Tiffany a couple of years ago. Where's the box cutter? Sorry, you guys. I literally just had it. I literally just made a video. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna open up this bad boy. Okay. So I bought another purse pen because they were $125 when I bought them. And I really like it. And this is the Tiffany purse pen. And I know it's real because I own it. <laughs> and I think this one I paid $80 for. This might not work, but I do have the refills. Because when I bought the first one, I bought refills. So I'm not worried about that. I do have to polish it and clean it. Let me just... Stay right there. It's a small pen. Oh. And this... I have a lot of wallets. If you saw my wallet collection when I showed you my tote bag collection. That have that little spot for the pen. So I wanted this specifically for that. I bought another silver pen. It's coming also. I think they were both $80. Um, and I'm okay paying that price because I know that they're worth more and I, I like them. And, you know, like only thing that matters is what you like and what you're willing to pay. I bought the, if you saw my Elemis video, um, when we were looking up all the Elemis stuff, when I did the QVC Tilly video, T-I-L-I, uh, QVC T-I-L-I, and I was telling you guys, buy this really quick. Then we went on Elemis and I was looking at the products and this was a free gift. It's $150 on Elemis. I bought it for $30. And on the inside, I believe that there's two 15 milliliter ones, which is even better because when you have the smaller, oh no, they gave me, oh, I guess each one is 15 milliliters. Interesting. So this waddles $115 on Elemis and I got it for $30 here. Thank you. So I'm going to try this peel. I have this peel. I have the Lancome peel I have to try. I think there's a couple of other peels that are coming in. Um, I need to start really focusing on my skin because I've been putting on a lot of makeup for the videos and then I just stopped just lightly. But it's enough It's enough to like start making my pores show, which I've never had pores before. But it's, And I'm also using moisturizers, which I never normally do. So I have to start use, doing the mud masks more and the peels to kind of like open up the pores, get everything out because my skin's not accustomed to me putting anything on it. I've always kept it as pure and natural as possible, tinted moisturizer, if anything. Um, and I only use moisturizer when I feel my skin and it feels dry. I don't use it every day for preventative or whatever care. I just don't want to bother it. I do have these dark circles and for me, they're dark. I know some people have darker circles because I haven't been able to sleep, but I finally got some rest yesterday, which I'm really happy about. Um, so it's, you know, and I started using the Elemis eye peptide that I got from the QVC box and I feel like that's working a little bit too. So I love New Balance vintage sneakers because when I was growing up, sneakers actually worked. And when I say worked, I mean they had insoles in them to support your body. I noticed when they got, they started getting cheaper and then the sneakers started becoming flat on the inside. They didn't have that arch support that they used to have in the past. And then you had to pay like a hundred, two hundred dollars for specific VIP running sneakers to have that arch support. But like, look, it's like built into the sneaker. See, there's arch support built into the sneaker. Like it's just part of the sneaker. And so I got these, they're old school. They're, they're supposed to be new. Yeah, they are. Right, and it was from someone's closet and they're like, I had it in the closet and I never ever used them. And I just like them. So I'm starting to walk more um, <clears throat> because I want to be thinner and beautiful for whoever I'm with. And I really like this guy and he likes to hike and I like to hike. So I want to get my heart rate up so that I can hike and kind of keep up with him, even though I probably will never be able to keep up with him. I can't keep up with any of my friends. I, I'm like, yeah, just go ahead. I'll meet you at the, you know, at the, at the end. Um, and I wanted supportive sneakers because I have ankle rollout because in the past I used to go hiking in flip flops because I didn't have any of this stuff. I didn't know, you know, and I wasn't expecting to go hang out with my friends and then they're like, let's go for a hike. And I'm like, who does that? I guess they do. So now I, I learn, I know better. So you want to have really good supportive sneakers and then really good supportive hiking boots. 
that will support your ankles. So now um, I have to go buy more of those ankle supports, which are the bands that you put on. It's like a, it's almost like a slipper that you slip on and then it helps support your ankle because it's just the right ankle that I have issues with. And I don't know if the ankle rollout, it actually showed up after I had my knee surgery from the car accident. So I don't think it has anything to do with my lifestyle. I think it had to do with, I got into the car accident. I had a knee surgery on my left knee. Then I had knee surgery three months later on my right knee. Um, arthroscopy and I just don't think that I was able to heal properly on the right knee um, and it, it caused the ankle rollout because I didn't have ankle rollout until that moment um, but I'm attributing you know possibly I look at all things I don't just look at one thing but I'm almost a hundred percent positive it was because of the surgery because when when I was doing physical therapy and the lady was having me walk I used to walk like this on the heel of my foot, like heel down, heel down, heel down. I don't know why, but that's how I've always walked. And she was trying to force me to walk like this. And when I do this, everything hurts. Every, every tendon, every bone in my body hurts. The ankle started rolling out. I don't think that's natural for me. I think it's more natural for me to walk on the, I don't know. I've always done that. Maybe because I wore heels a lot when I was younger. And then I got these. So both sneakers, I think were like $30 plus $10 shipping, which is 40 bucks. And they're not the prettiest sneakers. But I don't care because I want them to be supportive. Now, they had the New Balance ones that have, like, that skinny end. I don't like them. I like the old school ones that have the fat end from back in the day. Everything is better back in the day. I mean, when, when, we, when we see our grandparents and they talk and they're like, my day. It's true. Every generation, things diminish. Look at Louis Vuitton, look at Chanel, look at Gucci, diminishing the quality. So these are going to be my new hiking sneakers. And the reason I bought two pair, because I already have one. These are the ones I've been wearing forever. And I bought these in 2012 or 13. And they are my favorite ones because they kind of remind me of the Mets. I was working for like a billionaire and she sent me to buy shoes for her. And these were on sale. And so I bought these for myself and hid them in the car. So she didn't know that I bought them. Um... Because, you know, you're not supposed to shop while you're working kind of thing. But I was like, fuck it. Sorry. I was like, you know, I'm here. It's there. I'm going to buy it. Like, why not? Right? And I've been wearing these only when I'm going to do something heavy duty. Look, it even has this thing. Like, these are made so well. The Activa. And, um, oh, let me show you what they are. So this is the Activa. I actually like these. These are the 858s. I couldn't find them. Maybe I should put Activa. These are really comfortable. Again, they have like that arch support on the inside. It doesn't hurt my ankle when I walk. Not a lot of sneakers do that anymore. Pumas used to be amazing. My favorite sneakers were New Balance and Puma growing up. Um, and then, I don't know, they just started changing and it wasn't the same. I remember when I bought a pair of Pumas and they weren't the same as like the other brand. Like it didn't fit right. It didn't have the same quality of the materials. Like I saw, I felt it like when it degraded. This one is called absorb with a z a b z o r b and the number for this one i don't know there's no number if they're running sneakers i always look up for running sneakers and i buy a size 10 oh let me make sure it fits because i think the other ones i had to wear out yeah they were too tight so i think i'm a 10 and a half now these are way too tight they hurt i might have to return these this one hurts I might have to just wear it out or I could bring it to my guy. He could stretch them out. My guy does everything. My guy is the, um, the leather guy from Post Avenue Brewery. Here it is. I do think I'm a 10 and a half now. Oh, let me just try these on. And it's interesting because in the inside, because the ones that I have say 41.5 European, I'm a 42. And then they say size 10 US. So I figured, oh, well, it's the same one. No, these fit a lot better. These are perfect. These were perfect. The other ones are tighter or too tight. These are perfect. Oh my God. Perfect. That felt so good on my shoe, on my foot. This felt really, really, really tight. You know why? Yeah, I'm going to have him stretch it out. Because this here is pushing hard on the back of my foot. I might return these. I might have to return these. I'm sorry. Because these are very uncomfortable. 
and it's really pushing on the back of my heel and I know that when I walk later on I have to get all the like hair out from the fur rug on the floor I really have to get rid of that fur rug but my cat really likes it I might just put it in the kit in the living room for her she really likes the fur rug and I don't want to like take it away from her um so I, I think I'm gonna return these I'm gonna see if I can return these because I really don't like them and I'm not in a position to force myself to keep anything that I don't like and you're gonna hear that as a theme over and over because I want you guys to understand that in this lifetime you live once don't settle no it's okay it's not a big deal no it is a big deal if you don't like something don't settle for it it's not a big deal return it <laughs> If you can't get a refund, then fine. Then you settle for it. You're like, all right, I'll make the best of it. I'll gift it. I'll do something. But don't. Don't settle for anything less than what you deserve or anything less than what makes you happy. Don't try to accommodate things that are not for you to accommodate. Not, now, I'm not talking about relationships. I'm just talking about things that you buy. So I bought that Bottega bag and I'm supposed to return it. I don't want to return it. I'm trying to figure out what to do. So I found out, I'm trying to find solutions. I bought it from Rebag. It looks like this. I love this bag. I don't want to return it. I'm debating, right? I have until probably like Monday to return it. I already printed out the return label. I'm debating on keeping it and getting an Apple Watch with the Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi is an extra like $10 a month, which is going to be like 16, 15, $16 a month. Uh, if I buy it from Apple, it's unlocked. If I buy it from AT&T, it's locked for as long as I do the payment plan. Plus I have to do another $8 for insurance. So I'm paying like $20 just so that when I go out, I can keep my Apple watch in my phone and not worry about my phone not fitting in the bag. That is a really bad financial decision. It'll help me in other things in life. You know what I mean? Because then I don't have to worry about carrying a big phone, losing my phone, someone stealing my phone, someone hacking my phone, uh, any of that stuff when I travel because I'll just have the little watch in here. Nobody will even know the watch is in there, right? Um, or in my bag or in whatever. And then I'll still have like my phone, but I won't have my phone. It'll be like the Wi-Fi service of my phone. Does that does that make sense? Um, I do love this bag. It's five hundred and it's like it ended up being five hundred and something dollars. It's it's a one of a kind bag. Not one of a kind, but I mean like there's not that many of them circulating. I don't think. And I figured when I go to like art galas and art events and like gallery events, this is a good bag to wear. Like it's a conversation piece. It's Bottega Veneta. It's a work of art in itself. Um, and I just feel like, you know, when I go out, I mean, look at how big I am. Let's just see what it looks like because I didn't even think about that. When I go out, I'll be holding it like this or like this. It looks really small for my frame. Yeah, probably not. Because look, even for my frame. Oh, hi. How are you? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. How have you been? How is the family? Did you guys ever? Yes, we went away. Did you go away too? It was nice. Yeah. Oh, did you know that blah, 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 blah? Right? This is how it would, this is how it would look. It's very small for my frame. So that's another thing I need to consider. No, I'm going to return it. I'm not Because I already got another small bag. I mean, oh, I just love this. This is more of like a collector's couture fine. I don't know. So the reason I want to keep it is because to me, it's like very collector's couture, one of a kind, beautiful. If I did lose a hundred pounds, I would be able to wear this and look good, right? That's the goal. Lose a hundred pounds. I weigh like 280 right now. I used to weigh 155. So I really have to lose 130 pounds. Um, and, but that's never going to happen. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with 180. So I'm looking at this, like, what do you guys think? I don't know. I like it a lot. But it's not conducive to the life that I'm living now. But the thing is that I'm not going to find this bag again. Do you understand? Like, I'm not going to find this again. This isn't like something that's circulating all over the internet all the time. This is a unique one of a kind bag, which is why I want it. Because not everyone's going to be able to see it, find it, 
it's kind of like, wow, she's, she's something, you know, some people are going to be like, what the heck? Why Myra? Ugh. And some people are going to be like, no, she has good taste. She's, she's eclectic. She's different. She sees and understands style. She's fashion, you know, and when you match it with the outfit, like it all works together. Um, this is couture fashion. This is, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I have so many crappy bags. I'm keeping it. I'll, I'll, I'm keeping it. At some point, not now, I can't afford an iPhone. Uh, uh, what's that thing called? An iPhone watch. I'm going to see if somebody will give it to me. I'm not going to buy it. And then maybe pay for it. So if like, I have a boyfriend and we actually get to the next level, I'll be like, you pay for it. And if he pays for it, then I'll get it and then I'll use that bag. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to do it. I'm putting it into the universe that whoever is my partner is going to buy me an Apple Watch and they're going to pay for the service and I'm going to be able to rock that bag. I'm keeping it. Because it is. It is a piece of art. It is one of a kind. It is. Be I love it. It doesn't. You don't have to love it. I love it. And I don't want to get rid of it. I want to... I want to wear that to art events and gallery events and and if I ever go to the Met Gala. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine? Hello on the winter. Love you. Um, I might, you never know, right? Uh, <laughs> as a plus one, no, maybe, you never know, right? I might be like that that like rando that they decide to invite because they're like, you know what? She may not be big, but she's got style, right? She's got style. She has a cute personality. Let's welcome her into our, you know, let me stop. Um, I would wear that. Quote me on that. If I ever go to the Met Gala, I'm going to wear that. Put it into the universe. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. It's my Pringles. If you like my style, stay for a while next time. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. Definitely let me know what you want for the giveaways. I give giveaways all the time. Look at my giveaway videos. Put it in the comments if you want to be entered. You have to tell me what you want because they're not just random giveaways. Um, they're specific. And yeah, but you have to watch the giveaway videos to see what it is. And, and the giveaway videos don't always show you everything. It's usually in the description box what I'm giving away. Um, I just bought a ridiculous amount of makeup. So I'm going to be making makeup boxes. I'm going to do hair care boxes. I just showed you the products for the... I don't know if I did it in this video. I think I did it in the other video. I have three hair dyes that I got from companies and stuff like that. So as I get all these things from different sponsors and things that I buy, I create these packages for you guys. I do giveaways. I have lots of clothes, lots of fun stuff. So see you later. Bye.